So the first thing I'm going to show you in this tips and tricks video is how to put your own either name or quote or whatever you want on the lock screen. So it's pretty simple. I'll walk you through the process. First thing you want to do is go into settings and when you go into settings, go into security. When you go into security, you're going to see the option there for lock screen message. Here is where you're going to press on it and you can put your own lock screen message. So it's pretty neat and that will appear on your lock screen. For the next trick I'm going to show you or tip, it is in the dialer. So let's go ahead and click on the dialer. And then right here you see these three dots there. Let's go ahead and press it. There you're going to get an option for one hand operation. So you click on that and then you have one handed operation now on your dialer. All right, for the next tip, it's in messaging. So I'm gonna click on messaging there. And let's go ahead and click there. So if you wanna change your background image, all you have to do is click on settings. And then on settings, you're gonna go down to, all the way down, display settings, bubble and background. So just click on that. And here is where you're going to be able to change the bubble that you see there for your messages. And then you'll also be able to change the image of the background on your messaging. And you can choose one from your gallery as well. So we can go to my gallery. I'll show you real quick. So say if we want one of these wallpapers, we can click that one there. And you just customize the background of your messaging app. So a pretty neat feature that's offered with the Z Max Pro here. So next tip I'm gonna show you is how to change the color of your keyboard here. So for instance, mine is blue. Only thing you have to do is click right there and then click on settings, Google keyboard settings. And then you can click on theme and then on theme, you have all these other options here to choose from. So let's click on the red one. Now we have the red keyboard theme. Um, you can add a keyboard border to it if you like. So you have a variety to choose from here in the uh, keyboard theme here. You can choose your own image. Let's allow it. Let's go to gallery um, just once wallpapers we'll just choose that and then let's go ahead and choose this image here next another neat feature on changing the uh, keyboard there so it's pretty neat you have a whole lot of uh, options to choose from here but that's changing the keyboard theme there so hopefully that tip was helpful for you and as you can see from my keyboard now, the way it looks, fully customizable as well as I can customize the background on my messaging app here. So really neat feature. All right, for the next tip and trick here, let's go to camera. All right, so there's actually so much to show in this camera application. Um, I'm just gonna show you a few things here. Uh, I won't show you them all. If you're interested in a full review of the whole camera setup, let me know. But if you click right here in these three dots, it's gonna give you a variety of modes to choose from, um, whole variety. You can get mirror mode now. And so everything's in mirror mode or to record or uh, take a picture in mirror mode. You can also switch it up to fisheye lens now. Now you got fisheye lens here. Really neat. Like I said, there's a lot of options here. I just wanted to show you that there because it's a pretty neat, pretty neat feature. All right, so for the next uh, tip I'm gonna show you is just hold down on your home screen there. And then you're gonna get option for settings. And then this is where you can allow screen rotation. So if your screen is not rotating right now, it's probably disabled. So what you wanna do is click that and enable it. And then you have screen rotation there. 
Now next tip and trick I want to show you is in fingerprint. So this is in settings, go to fingerprint. A uh, quick open app is what I want to show you there. So fingerprint one is going to launch the camera. Fingerprint three is going to launch YouTube. So I will give you a demonstration here. Let me go ahead and turn off the phone. Fingerprint there. It's assigned to YouTube. So anytime I use this specific fingerprint or finger, it's going to open up, as you can see there, YouTube. I have another fingerprint assigned, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you here. So when I use this finger now, it should open up my camera application. So there you have it. See, it opened up the uh, camera application. So like I said, you can assign certain fingerprints to open up certain applications. So I think that's a pretty, uh, pretty cool trick of this phone here. A really neat option you have. Okay, so for the last tip of the day, it's going to be in settings, go into security here, and then it's screen pinning. So screen pinning, I'll go ahead and click on that to show you. So mine is already enabled, and I'll go ahead and show you what screen pinning is. Then next, what I want to do is go into uh, recent apps. So now in my recent apps, let me show you here, you got that pin now. So if you press the pin, so screen is pinned, this keeps it in view until unpin touch and hold recent keys. So press got it. So screen is pinned now. So hopefully you enjoyed this tips and tricks on the ZTE Z Max Pro here. If you did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And once again, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more future videos. This is Paul Tech and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.